Guys from Worley Custom Fab asked me to uh, make a follow-up video. Anybody that's been involved in any type of restoration project knows that the uh, bodywork can take a lot of time. After we had it sandblasted, uh, we started pulling all the panels off, make sure any structural issues were uh, repaired if they needed to be. Because there was some, a little bit more rust behind the scenes than what we were kind of anticipating. We did have to put some repair panels in on some of the sides and the rear fenders uh, behind the wheel wells where you know, salt and those types of things can often accumulate, causing some damage over the years. Once we got those panels repaired, uh, we had to get some of the doors repaired. It's hard to uh, keep the bottoms of the doors rust free. So we got those repaired, um, got it back into primer. Pretty big body to try to manhandle. Having the rotisserie makes things a lot easier as far as being able to turn it, uh, working on the roof and different uh, underside sections of the vehicle. Uh, I can't say enough about the guys over at Marty and Sons. Uh, they did a lot of the repair work and got the body back into shape as well as painted it for me. We went with the yellow and white two-tone paint just to kind of give it some distinction. Originally I was thinking about just putting a, a bigger gas engine in it and kind of messing around with it that way and then I saw Ryan Worley's C10 pickup truck that he had put on a more modern Chevy pickup truck chassis with a very reliable Duramax engine in it. So I thought that would be a neat way to go with uh, my project. I know fabricating uh, body mounts and those types of things can be a little bit of a challenge to make everything fit right, get the uh, body sitting on the chassis in a manner in which would look acceptable. And I knew the guys over at Worley Custom Fab were up for that task after seeing what they had done with Ryan's truck. Once we get everything buttoned up on our end as far as what Worley has requested us to do, uh, it'll go back over to their shop. They'll need to fabricate all the charge air pipes, cold air intake, finish up the wiring, uh, and get the vehicle back up and running. Uh, so when they're done with it, we should actually be able to drive it around a little bit and then uh, it'll be off to uh, finishing the wiring on our end and getting the interior wrapped up. Thanks for watching the latest update on Suburban Project. I'm Dan Doty, and we look forward to seeing you on the road.